Merch Chaffer here with another Big Brother Canada eviction interview. I am here with Kiefer and let's get right into it. I want to start by going back a few weeks. How did you feel when Jedson nominated you with the intention of a back door? I just felt hurt. When you're in the Big Brother house, it becomes your whole world and your entire reality. And the reality was I was devastated because I felt like we were working closely together and he didn't even give me time to pitch to not be up on the block. Um, so yeah, I, I felt extremely hurt. I want to talk a little bit more about Judson and the rest of the Sunsetters. They seem to have a change of heart and decided to keep you instead of Tina. But how did that ultimately affect your feelings for your Sunsetter Alliance members? I felt like the Sunsetters were done in my mind and I was going to come after them one by one and I wasn't going to rest until I seen all three of them chilling in the jury house. But things didn't play out that way. I got two out of three and I feel pretty good about myself. Would you have remained loyal to the Sunsetters if Jed had not put you up? Yes, I definitely would have remained loyal. I was loyal to the soil, loyal to the squad, a sunsetter for life. I was a bit blinded by loyalty, but that was one of my strategies going into the game was to prove through actions my loyalty and through my words. And I would have went to the end with them if they had not put me up on the block. So yeah, I would have definitely stayed to them. It was clear that, uh, that you wanted Kyle and Rohan out and you successfully managed to accomplish this. You had a clear focus on getting Rohan specifically. Why was securing his eviction so important to you? And was this simply related to the blow up you had in the pantry? Or was there a deeper disconnect between you? Rohan was the last big move to make uh, in the house at the time. There was no other really big targets that I could have went after aside from people in my own alliance. So I wanted to be the one to take out Rohan because he was a back-to-back-to-back veto winner. He was a huge player in the game and a big resume move for me moving forward in the game. It just came down to big targets, and he was the last big target on the side of the house that I was against. Uh, you told Jed, Ty, Braden, and Spicy V when she was the Invisible HOH that they were the best player in the house at one point. Was it part of your strategy to butter up everyone, or did you really feel this way about every player? No, it was definitely a strategy to reflect away from the game that I was playing. I needed people to realize and look at their own resumes. So if they're paying attention to their resume, they're not looking at it. So it was definitely part of my strategy to tell people how good they were at this game. Do you regret winning as many competitions as you did early in the game? Do you think it affected the way other house guests saw you as a player? I definitely don't regret the wins that I had. Honestly, I wish I had a couple more. Um, I might still be in the house right now if I won late in the game. I definitely wanted to win early. I wanted to win in the middle, and then I wanted to win in the end. That was always the plan, and I, I never want to, to change anything that I did. You chose to eliminate Beth last week and keep Tara, who has been proving herself in competitions lately. With Beth being an original sunsetter and Tara's veto win this week, do you think you made the wrong decision to send Beth home? No, I don't think I made the wrong decision. It was Beth's time. Um, I felt sick after voting out Tara for the first time. And I just knew that I couldn't do that again. She came back to rewrite history. I knew ultimately it could come back to burn me, especially when she won that final veto to evict me. I knew I was on the ropes and I didn't have a good chance, but Tara deserved it. And she, if she can win the next comp, she deserves the game, but I don't regret it in the slightest. The satisfaction of seeing Beth walk through those doors is just, it's a feeling I can't describe. <laughs> Um, you were a team captain on Team Defender at the start of the game. Tina seemed to grab the big physical players for her side, including Ty, Kyle, Beth, Austin, Victoria, and Tara. Did you actively decide not to choose physical threats for your team? And what was the rationale behind that decision? I mean, I got Jed. <laughs> but my, my decision was I just, I went on gut feelings and assumptions. Um, I also wanted a very diverse looking team. Uh, we were in the most diverse season ever. So a lot of that went into consideration while picking my team as well. And I think for physical threats, I mean, I had Latoya. She was an absolute beast. Rohan was an absolute competitor as well. And Braden has proved himself time and time again throughout the game in physical competitions. So they didn't look like physical threats, but they all turned out to be extreme physical threats, not to mention Rohan the back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back veto winner. So I think I picked a pretty good team. Do you believe that Tara made the right move in cutting you instead of Braden when Braden is so closely aligned with Ty? Oh, yeah, 100% Tara made the right move cutting me. Um, 
I don't think I ever would have took her in a final two scenario. Um, I would have took Ty and I, it was a smart move to take me out. Now she took Jensen out and she took myself out. If she wins the final HOH, it's a clear cut decision who wins this game. I think she definitely made the right move. She made the move with her head, not her heart. And that's what Big Brother's about. In the end, you really have to just go on what you think is your best ability, not what you feel. What was your best move, your worst move, and your biggest regret? My worst move was probably informing the Sunsetters that I knew that Victoria was the invisible HOH the whole time. I think that really fractured my relationship with them and built a little bit of distrust between them for me. I don't want to be too cocky or anything, but I don't really have many regrets. I think I played a great game, a great social game, a great competition game. And I don't know if I could have done anything differently to not be sitting here. I knew Beth was going to come for me. If Beth won that veto, I would still be sitting here. So I don't really have any regrets in the Big Brother house. And last question. If you had to rank the final three players from most likely to get your vote to least likely to get your vote, how do they rank? I think if I had to rank them, I would most likely vote for Tashawn, then Tara, and then Braden. Amazing. Keeper, thank you so much. I'm hoping our paths cross again soon. I hope so, too.